Welcome to the next video in the Data Video Tutorial Series, where we show you tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your SE1200MU HD switcher and RMC260 control panel. In the previous video in this tutorial series, we learned how to use the TC200 Title Creator to do graphics from your Data Video CG software using two inputs for key and fill. Now we will show you how to use the TC200 and SE1200 to do graphics in an upstream key using one input instead of two inputs. You can do this by using Chroma Key on the SE1200. First, set up your Data Video CG software to display graphics on a Chroma Key background. You can make a full screen color box and change the background color to a Chroma Key green. You can then send the chroma key layer to the background and bring your other graphic layers forward. Now we can move on to setting up the SE1200 switcher. Since key 1 is already set for chroma key on our production, we are going to use key 2. Next, go into the menu by pressing the left knob and select keyer. Set keyer to key 2 and keyer control to chroma. For key source, we want to select the key source for fill on the TC200, which in this case is input 4. Fill will always be set to black when we are using self keyer. You should now be able to see your graphics coming in. To get a better key and fine tune the chroma key effect, go into chroma settings and select CK Auto. You should now have a perfect key. Now you can have black text on your CG graphics using the chroma key settings on the SE1200MU and RMC260. Plus, you now have one extra input. Using these same steps, you can also use the SE1200 to do luma key if you do not want to use chroma key. Luma key will key out black instead of green. If you are using luma, you can use a normal graphic page on your data video CG software without a chroma key background. To set up the SE1200, first turn on key 2 and go back into the menu for keyer. For keyer control, change chroma to luma. Your key source will be the same as before. If you want to make any adjustments, you can change the lift and gain to key out just the right amount of black from your graphics. For more tips and tricks on the SE1200 ME Switcher, check out the other videos in our tutorial series. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching!